we're at Mandarin Restaurant located in Olympic and Vermont in Koreatown. Now, this is one of my favorite Chinese places because you get the option of jam jam yam. Now, what is that? It's when you get the black bean and also the jampong in one freaking bowl. By having this kind of option, it's perfect. Now, before I even get started on the jampong, let's start the flavor, the taste. Every time I come here, it's always so good. What I also like to do is add chili flakes. It gives like a hint of spiciness and I love it. Now in front of me, this is tangsu, which is fried pork. This looks like an easy, simple ingredient, but it has a lot of different flavors with different seasoning on the sauce to give it a very refreshing, sweet and sour flavor. The sweet and sour pork is very crispy. I love the sauce. All the ingredient that goes into it, like sugar, salt, and potato starch to make it a little, you know, sticky. And all the vegetables. I wish they had more pineapple in it. So it gives it a more tropical flavoring. And the right way of eating this is not by itself. You actually have to eat it with your black bean noodle. You get the sweet and sour pork and the black bean noodle like this and bon appetit. Perfect combination. You could also rotate. So boom. And, and in the Chinese dish, there isn't a lot of like sides. I love having the option of onion on the side, diced onion, and you dip it on the jajang. That's fresh. Cool, man. It's jampong. And jampong, if you guys don't know, is made with hot chili flakes. Yeah, nothing else, just chili flakes. And a little bit of oil. And you got seafood, vegetables like shrimp, um, clam, cucumber, onion, carrot. The soup. Oh. Ooh, wow. That's spicy. That's good spicy though. Mmm. Very fresh, very refreshing. And it has like this little, like a charcoal burn taste, which gives it an amazing flavor with the chili flakes. It's so good. See, this is why I love this bowl with jalmyeon and jampong. Once you eat a little bit of the black bean noodle, you kind of want to get a taste of the jampong because it gives it like a refreshing, hot taste. By having both options, it's really great. Let's move on to the Kung Pao shrimp. Now, Kung Pao shrimp is like a mixture of sweetness and spiciness with very refreshing taste. Just smelling the Kung Pao shrimp is amazing. They have that charred jalapenos inside. Oh, man. Woo! Perfect. Sweetness with spiciness just blends it all together. Very fresh, very crisp. Like nowadays, I don't know what happened, but the flavor of the Chinese food changed. And this is like more of the classic, true, old school Chinese place. They know what they're doing. They focus on the food. You could also add rice to your jajangmyeon. It's gonna get a little bit of rice and just mix it up. This is called black bean rice. I don't know how they make this food because whoever made it, they should get Nobel Peace Prize for making all these delicious food. Mmm, mmm. And I love it how the rice has a sweet flavor and black bean noodle, a little bit on the beans, like a salty side, so. Perfect. So if you're ever in Los Angeles, Mandarin Garden Restaurant, located Olympic and Vermont. This is it. So guys, make sure if you guys like the video, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you know the next video that's coming up. And comment down below on what you want to see us eat and we'll definitely give it a try. See you guys next time.